Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Welcome to my Facebook Live tonight. I hope you guys are enjoying your holiday weekend. There's Debbie. Hi Debbie, welcome. I'm going to pull you guys up here on my screen, so just hang on a second. Oh look at I popped up. <laughs> Hi Kathy, hi Heather, Susan, Jody, welcome. And here we go. Let me get this big so I can see those comments when I turn this around. Hi, Vicki. Beth, welcome. So, Labor Day weekend. I have to say, I've labored a lot. <laughs> Hi, Sharon. Hi, Linda. Yeah, so we had a little um, staycation this weekend, right? We didn't go anyplace. Um, Steve's just not ready to travel yet. And he is getting better. He might pay us a little visit tonight. And uh, he's been getting lots of cards, which I will share with you. He's really enjoyed them. So they've brightened his um, rehab time here. He's doing all... Oh, and it just said low internet connection. Huh. I don't know what that's all about. But <laughs> thanks, Kathy. Hi, Trudy. Hi, Carol. Michelle, welcome. Diana. Um, so anyways, he's been doing all his exercises. He's down to one crutch. He's starting to do the dishes. Today he kind of cooked for me. Uh, we got um, five meals came from his surgery, like the surgery center let him pick out five different meals that he wanted and it comes from their little cafe that they have there at their recovery center. Oh my gosh, they have the best food. So today we had chicken parmesan and Steve just heated it up in the oven, right? And then he made some Texas garlic toast. Mm, not supposed to have that, but it was really good. <laughs> I only had one piece. Oh, and Janet and I have been stamping. Now it's time to watch me. Well, good. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Carrie. Two Lisas. Paula, welcome. So he's been um, he's been doing a few more things now, so that's really good. And like sometimes I'll take the wash out um, of the dryer and he'll fold it. He did the dishes today. He's starting to be able to get his own stuff. I was waiting on him hand and foot, of course, but he's doing so much better. So I'm going to show you some of the cards that um, he got because they're awesome. And wanted to just tell you about a few exciting things that are happening this week. First of all, Oh, Kathy says he looks so good. Kathy stopped over yesterday. Yeah, he does. He He's feeling really good. Um, holiday mini catalog. Woot, woot. That goes live on Wednesday, September 4th. So I still can't show you the inside until Wednesday. And um, yeah, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Now, remember, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you did not get a hard copy of the holiday mini catalog, I would be happy to mail one to you. You need to pop me an email at kelly at a stamp above.com and give me your address and I would be happy to mail you a catalog. That goes live on Wednesday. Also starting on Wednesday, we're having a designer paper sale. So um, there are going to be 10 packs, 10 different selections of our designer series paper that are going to go on sale also September 4th, so Wednesday. And what's the sale? Buy three, get one free. Yes. Um, we, Stampin' Up! has had this sale for the last, I don't know, a couple years or so, I can't remember, but um, we're happy it's back because I know I'm gonna be stocking up on designer series paper. And then I wanted to um, kind of give you a little insight. Um, some people that have been emailing me asking for holiday mini catalogs, I just wanted to let you know, how do you get on that list for mini, ca mini catalogs? First of all, if you have placed an order with me in the last six months, that's how I um, gauge who I'm sending mini catalogs to. So I go out into my database and I choose to see, it's actually the last eight months because I go back to January and see who's placed an order with me in January. And um, usually I say if it's you've spent $50 or more with me since January, you will get a holiday mini catalog. Now, once in a while, the system like doesn't show people. I don't know why. We're getting a new website pretty soon, so we're hoping that that'll take care of any little glitches. 
but also if you happen to be a holiday mini catalog purchaser and you don't really buy any other time of the year that's why you might not be on my holiday mini list so if you did not get a holiday mini catalog yet but you do order from me just let me know and I'm happy to mail one to you the other thing is is that that holiday mini catalog goes out in the mail I have to choose those people before the end of July so um, sometimes that's why you don't get one either and I think we have a guest so you can't get around here I'm gonna have to flip my phone hang tight you guys here you are Hello, Stampers. <laughs> uh, I can't thank you enough for all the cards, and I'm doing well. My knee is feeling much better. Uh, it's only been a couple weeks. Uh, I love this Harley card. Uh, thank you so much. And all the cards are beautiful, and they really mean a lot to myself and my beautiful bride. Aww. So thank you again. I'm doing well. Have a good night. Thanks, honey. Nothing like a personal message right from Steve, right? <laughs> he said he might pop in tonight. I'm glad he did that. <laughs> so he really does appreciate all those cards you guys have been sending. It's like it's like um, Christmas in the mailbox every day. It's been fabulous. Okay. A um, couple other things I want to share with you. Done with mailing selector. That's how it works. That's why you might not have received a mini catalog. So... Again, just let me know. I would be happy to send one to you. And I just want to let you know, hunting season is starting up here for me. Next weekend, we're going to be heading up to northern Wisconsin. I'm going to be gone every weekend, probably at least for the next six weeks or so. Don't worry, I'll be back on Sunday nights for Facebook Live. But what does that mean for me? Well, I usually spend a lot of time on the weekends getting ready for Facebook Live. So I will not have that time. That means I'm going to have to get all my eggs in a row before I leave on Fridays to head up north. And um, actually my hunting season lasts right down through after Thanksgiving because we have bear hunting, we have deer hunting for bow, and then we have gun hunting for bow, and holy cow, just a whole lot of gone time. So um, if you don't see me posting as much or if I'm not getting back to you as quickly as I usually do, that's why. If you think I've missed an email or a message that you needed an answer to, please don't hesitate to ask again. I'm not going to go, oh, that Susie sure is impatient. Believe me, I will not do that. So um, just ask again if I miss it because things are going to start getting backed up a little bit for me. I'm also going down to Illinois in a couple weeks. I'm a guest presenter at a big demonstrator event in Illinois, so I'm super excited about that, and I need to get ready for that, and I'm doing swaps for it, and holy cow. This is just such a busy, busy time of the year for Stampin' Up! demonstrators. Um, yeah, we do have black powder season, Rhonda. I missed, somebody else must have asked another question, and I missed it. So, um... Yeah, yeah, Linda says, all my bike rides, I know where the deer are. Yeah, they're in the nature preserve. We can't hunt there. <laughs> no hunting in the nature preserve. And Carrie says, where in Illinois? I'm going to be in Crystal Lake, Illinois. So, yeah, I've got some really cool cards. Dee says, um, it's another great Sunday with you. Can't wait to see what you have in store for us. And I have some really good cards for you guys tonight. Not that I don't think most of my cards are really good, but... I think you're going to love them. Um, okay, I wanted to do the winners for all of our goodies. So there's three ways to win. If you're new to me, please leave a message, a comment. You can just say, hi, Kelly from Alaska or whatever. I hope there's people watching from Alaska. <laughs> um Oh, Diane says, thank you for sending the catalog. You're very welcome. Hi, Nikki Schmidt. Nikki is my cousin, actually. I want to call her my niece because she's so much younger than me. But my mom was the oldest of eight. And her dad is the third, third youngest, maybe fourth youngest. I don't know. But anyways, it's funny because she should really be my niece with her age, but she's my cousin. And Roger, or Jamie, Janie, I'm sorry, Janie Anderson is asking if I'm coming to Lansing, Michigan for onstage, and I will be there. Woot, woot. 
that is in November. We have Stampin' Up! has an event in Lansing, Michigan. Well, all over the world, really, that weekend. There's um, events all over the world that weekend, and I'm going to be going to Lansing, Michigan, so I'm excited. I went there in March, I think, for a training session, so that was really cool. And Nikki says, hi, Auntie Kelly. I know, right? I should be your aunt. <laughs> and it's funny because her mom is my aunt. Um, okay, so three ways to win. One is commenting, so make sure if you're watching, leave a comment. Whether you're watching live now, whether you're watching the replay later, or whether you're watching way later on YouTube, leave a comment. Everybody gets entered in a drawing to win. And then the second way to win is by sharing this video. And you can do that right now. You can click on that share button. You won't go away from me. Everything will be fine. And um, I really appreciate those shares because that gets me out there for other people to see and it brings me in more customers, I hope. <laughs> more views, more everything. Okay, Jenny says, Crystal Lake is too far north from me. I want to meet you at the Lansing this time. Will you make sure you come up and say hi to me? I would love that. Um, Jamie says, come to Lansing a day early. Yeah, I am coming in on Thursday, Jamie. So I'm excited to see you again. And I am coming in on probably Thursday afternoon, evening. I don't know. But okay, so comment, share. And then also when you place orders from me, you will have an entry into a drawing to win a prize. This week I'm giving away four prizes because we had our card layout. Um, where is that card? Hmm. I should have that out here, but I do not. Um, we had our card layout challenge. No, I can't get through. I've got myself packed in over here. Let me see if it's in this drawer, because lots of times, I throw those challenge cards over here, and it's not. Sorry, guys. I should have been better prepared for that. But anyways, I had a challenge last week, and you can find it on my Facebook page. And um, so I'm going to do the winners. First of all, we have for, um, for commenting, Heather Kohler, you're going to get a pack of the Brights 6x6. Now, this is the one that just recently retired, and I have to tell you guys, I just went through my little 6x6 designer series paper, and I have a whole bunch of packs that I did not touch. So, you guys are going to get lucky, and I'm going to give these away. Heather Kohler is from Menasha, Wisconsin, and she is going to win this pack of papers. So, that's for commenting, and thank you so much, Heather. Um, I'm pretty sure you're watching tonight, too. Okay. Next is for sharing the video. I have a brand new product coming out in the holiday mini catalog. This is the baser, basic pattern designer decorative masks. I'm like, I don't know what it's called. And our winner for that is Jody Peterson. And I know Jody's watching tonight. So if you guys remember, I made this card this last week. And this is the Designer Masks does this with um, shimmery embossing paste. And then I also made this one. And can you see that shimmer? I hope you can see the shimmer in that embossing paste because it is beautiful. That's what these decorative, whoops, let me get Jody's address off of there. That's what these decorative masks do. There's a set of four. And I also promised, and I've got that packed in my bin here, that I used one of these masks and I did a crushed curry on early espresso and I didn't do anything with that card. I made these two cards up, but I didn't do anything with that one and I said tonight I would make a card with it. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right, um, that's for Jody, And then for placing an order this week, Royal Peacock. Woot, woot. I have a tutorial that I have shared with the Royal Peacock and I am going to be awarding this to Nancy Hanley of Waynesburg, Pennsylvania. And by the way, Jody is in Avon, Indiana. Nancy Hanley, you won the Royal Peacock, but I have to tell you a little something. When you open this up, you may notice that this greeting is kind of pink. Well, I accidentally had two of these stamp sets and I used, whoops, I'm not going to put your address on there. I used this one little tiny greeting in the other set. I should not have had both of these on my shelf. So that's why it's a little pink and I'm hoping you won't mind. But I thought somebody can use this extra set. I must have ordered two by accident. Has anybody else ever done that? <laughs> I know I'm not alone. I know I'm not. 
And then for the layout challenge, I have the card saved on my computer. So as soon as we're done with the Facebook Live, um, I will show you the card that Beth Puffer made. Beth, you're the winner! Um, Beth's card, and everybody's cards were beautiful. We had tons of people submitting cards. I did not choose based on the beauty of the cards. I put everybody in and drew a name. So I just want you to know that. Um, but I thought, well, I'll share the one that Beth made and congratulate her on my website when we're done with Facebook Live because you won. You're going to get the brick and mortar 3D embossing folder. Gosh, I was going to say designer series paper, but embossing folder. So I will get all of these items out in the mail this week with the exception of the designer paper because Heather, I think you have an order coming in. Heather's from Menasha. I think you have an order coming in this week and I'll just put it in with your order. So that'll work out good. All right, then I wanted to show you some of the, um, hmm, how was I gonna do this? I think I was gonna make my cards first and then I was gonna show you the cards that we got in the mail this week. And I think I'll do that just in case because there's a lot of cards and if somebody needs to leave or go someplace, they're not gonna miss all the stamping. Are you guys okay with that? I'll show all the cards at the end of the week. Oh, Trudy says her sister loves it when she orders duplicates because she gets the extras. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's kind of a good bonus, right? <laughs> okay, um, I don't think I have any other updates for you. I do have a couple cards. Did you guys see these? Oh my goodness. This is from the Nature's Beauty stamp set. For every stamp set that Stampin' Up! sells, $3 are going to go, $3 a stamp set goes to mental health organizations all over the world. So the ones that are sold in the United States will raise $3 for organizations in the United States, the ones in the UK for the UK area, and so on and so forth. But I'm sure everybody knows somebody that's affected by a mental health issue. And what a great way for my fabulous company to give back, right? And a great way for you to give back. So if you like to do stuff like that, if you like to pay it forward, when you get this stamp set that has the deer and the fox and a bunny and some trees and some other stuff, when you get the stamp set, $3 for each set goes to mental health organizations. So, and I know Stampin' Up! raises a lot of money for their charities. And this is the charity that they picked. So I think it's a great one. And this was part of my Stamping Society. Oh, and that reminds me, that's my newest online class. For $7, you can have it. Um, you can go right to my blog and buy it, www.stampabove.com. Um, there are six exclusive projects in there. Each one has their own exclusive video tutorial, written instructions, dimensions, and ingredients. It's fabulous. $7. Or you can get it for free when you place an order with me. Or join my team of discount shoppers or business builders, and you can get it for free then because I give it to all of them. All right, let's start stamping. I have some really cool things to show you tonight. I hope I can get through all of them. But the one thing I'm going to start with tonight, hang on, i got to make sure my phone's plugged in here, and my cord, whoops, hang on. Oh, how do you like seeing my eyeballs really up close? <laughs> Um, um, I'm going to show you the card first that I made with, let me grab this layer out of here. Remember this? This is part of the decorative, decorative masks and I colored this, um, crushed curry. So shimmery embossing paste colored crushed curry. I'm going to show you that card first and, uh, I'm going to flip my camera around so we can make cards. Hang on. If you get motion sickness, close your eyes. And you can look at my ugly ceiling fan. Yeah, notice there's no light in... Ooh, this is hard to do. That one. Whoops. That one right there. Yeah, I don't know why, but every time I put a light in it, it doesn't... It won't work. So, I do have a new ceiling fan, but my husband has never installed it for me. Steve, if you're still watching, that's about you. <laughs> That was kind of mean, wasn't it? No, he always does all kinds of stuff for me. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm not too close because then I don't have any room to stamp. So this is the layer that we're going to be working with first. And a little sneak peek, you guys. 
I'm bringing in the gather together stamp set and the gathered leaves matching dies. Oh, love this. I also um, have a ton of swap cards that I will share with you at some point. Not tonight because I think we're going to be plenty busy. And then here's the other two layers with those decorative masks. Now these new masks with the trees and, and this image and this image and some polka dots are coming to you in the new holiday mini catalog. Don't miss those because they're really cool. And while you're ordering, get yourself some of that shimmery white embossing paste because you can mix it with reinkers and make it any color you want, which is exactly what I did here. Isn't that pretty? So using crushed curry on early espresso just really reminded me of fall. So that's where I went with this. Okay, um, let's get out our layers. So I have a card base of Mary Merlot here. My card base is four and a quarter by 11 and I've already scored it at five and a half. So we're just gonna fold on that score line. Let me get my computer up to speed here. And Cynthia says she wants the paste and the masks. I know, they're fabulous. <laughs> and then I have a crushed curry layer. Now I cut my early espresso layer down to something. Hang on, I've got numbers here. Down to da, 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 three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And all of these measurements will be posted above this video on Facebook when I'm done. Once I get this video uploaded to YouTube, it will also be on my blog with still photos. So you can go over to my blog and see the photos a little better sometimes than you can see the quality of a video on Facebook Live. And um, all the dimensions will be on there also. So this is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. Then I've got crushed curry that is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And I'm going to bring in a whisper white layer that's four by five and a quarter. That's for the inside and some scraps. And I'm just going to move these out of my way for right now. Mary Merlot ink is what I've got here. And we are going to take this beautiful oak leaf. I think it's an oak leaf. I'm pretty sure it's oak. We're going to stamp this on here. And then we've got a scrap of whisper white here. And I brought out this teeny tiny little saying, and it says, so glad to have you in my life. I'm just going to stamp that. Isn't that just precious? Look at, it's really little, but I don't need like a magnifying glass to see it. But I really like it. The font is very crisp and clean. Okay, bringing in my classic label punch. This barely fits in here, you guys. So you got to really watch both ends. You can get it in here, get it straight. And then... Yeah, Cindy says she missed the decorative masks on page 35 in the mini catalog. I know, they're easy to miss, right? So glad that I didn't miss them because I love decorative masks. So mini dimensionals on the back of your classic label punch. And then we've got a die. The dies that come in here are so pretty, you guys. So we've got a die that's going to cut this leaf out. And then I'm also going to take this one. This one die cuts and embosses at the same time. I'm going to do that on Cajun Craze. And then I've got a little piece of our gold foil paper here. Oh, with a hitchhiker. There we go. And we're going to take this leaf and die cut it on here. And that one also embosses and cuts at the same time. So hang on. Let me get this out of my way. I ran all of that to the big shot in lightning speed. <laughs> I'm just teasing, of course. I had these pre-cut and die cut everything. Now we are ready to put our card together. Whoops, one more thing I need to do here. This white layer that is for the inside, I'm just going to stamp this big leaf right over in the bottom left corner. And now we can put the Mary Merlot away. And we're ready to build a card. Get my glue out here. Yeah, Sue says the colors are gorgeous. They really are, aren't they? Oh, I almost put glue on the wrong side because I'm trying to read messages on my computer and make cards. <laughs> my multitasking. 
almost blew it for me. All right, here we go. Hang on, I got some glue on my fingers. I always keep baby wipes in my studio so that I can clean off my hands. Then we're gonna take the crushed curry. Oh, before we do that, I've got some burlap ribbon here. And I'm just going to take the end of it. I don't know what that is. I also got some ink on it. I'm gonna take the end of it and fold it over so it's directly folded in half and then cut a little notch out of it so it does this. I'm gonna take this and cut it before I glue my layers together because if I get this edge crooked, I can trim it off, right? And it does look pretty darn good. All right. And what did Cindy just say? I missed it. Cindy, I have mini catalogs here. Um, message me and I'll make sure to put some out on the front porch. I haven't done that yet. All right. I just saw Cindy's son at the gas station yesterday. He is my mechanic and he does a fabulous job for us. He just put all new brakes and rotors on Steve's car. So yeah, Michael. He's an auto genius. Okay, so I just put three mini glue dots on the bottom of this burlap. And then I'm going to bring in my Mary Merlot leaf. And I'm just gonna kind of put it right about here. Then I'm gonna bring in my Cajun Craze. And do you guys see the detail on that? It is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just gonna put that down right here. Then I'm gonna grab my regular dimensionals, and here's that gold foil leaf. Isn't that just, oh, delicious. We're gonna take that and put it right here in the middle. Here comes our sentiment. I'm gonna stand up so I can see what I'm doing here. And add this right here. What do you guys think? Do you like that in the background? I just kind of swooshed that decorative mask through there. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting element, isn't it? Oh, this is really big. I didn't intend for it to be that big, but it's too late now. I'll show you the other one that I made that's got a thinner border on it. I think I might like this better, actually. Gives you a little more of that crushed curry. And, oh, these fall colors are just amazing, right? What do you think? Isn't that pretty? Yeah, super simple card to make. Now, here's the other one that I made. This is my prototype. And do you see how... Oh, and I use early espresso for my card base instead of um, Mary Merlot. So you decide which one you like. I hope you will um, get the stamp set because it is really, really beautiful. And I have a gazillion swap cards that I will show you probably next week. All right. Now, here's the other two that I used for the decorative masks. So pretty, right? Let me get this stuff cleaned up. And we will get on to our next card. The next two cards that I have are not this quick and simple. But I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised with them because they're fun folds. Yay! Okay. This next one is a doozy. So, I think it was Karen Wilson shared a link with me to a video for this next card. Oh, I just got, I had glue on my table. Hang on. Get that. I don't want my stuff sticking to it. But um, Karen, Karen Wilson, was it Karen? Let me look because I don't want to have her name wrong. That would be extraordinarily rude, right? Hang on a second. Oh, that's the one that won't open up. Hmm. Here, this one's opening. I'm sorry, Deborah Wilson, not Karen. Sorry, Deborah. So Deborah Wilson um, shared a link with me for a panel card. And I took that and ran with it. The first link she shared with me was a German demonstrator. I don't remember who it was. Um, the second link that she shared with me was a, um, 
English speaking demonstrator, Kathy DeRouche, I believe her name was. And she made this really cool panel card that I'm going to share with you. Now, this looks like it's really, really tricky and hard, but you guys know that I like to take things and simplify them, right? Like, I don't like to show you tricky, hard things because nobody likes, that's frustrating. So I'm going to show you how to make this card super simple. And um, by the way, I'm nothing against Kathy. Her instructions were beautiful. So we are going to be using two, a wild rose and also the wild rose dyes. This is a brand new set in the annual catalog. I have not used it other than this weekend. So I have a blog hop that goes live tomorrow morning and I used it for the Color Fusers Color Challenge. I can't show you those cards tonight, but you'll be able to see them on my blog tomorrow. And of course, my blog is right here. So, these are this is the stamp set that I'm using. And the first, oh, and I'm using the Woven Threads Designer Series Paper. This is going to be part of the buy three, get one free. So you can buy three of the same, three different ones, whatever you want. You're going to get a fourth pack of Designer Series Paper for free. Okay. I'm going to bring in my trimmer here because we have a little bit of scoring to do. Now, let me see if I can remember how to do this. <laughs> it seems like ages ago. Where's my cheat sheet, first of all? Hang on, you guys. I know that I had one. Oh, Lord. Hang on, hang on. wasn't it was it oh boy oh I found it don't worry I'm gonna set it right over here now <laughs> where I should have set it to begin with okay so this is the woven threads designer series paper um, and I know lots of people are gonna ask me um, where do I get this okay so I make it and I can't share a file with you because it's a part of a program that I paid for pay for for my meetings, for my demonstrator meetings. So all you do is type up the name of the designer series paper and the coordinating colors, and then these are one inch circle punches in those colors and two inch squares of each side of the designer series paper, and you just glue it on an eight and a half by 11. That's all you do. So um, here we go. I've got a piece of the woven threads. This is six inches by 12 inches. What we're gonna do, is we're going to score it at four inches. And remember, all these dimensions are going to be on my blog and above this video. So we've got four inches and eight inches. That's what we're going to do here first. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to flip this and we are going to cut. Hang on a second. I've got a template here. Yep. Okay. We're going to cut this from, we're gonna push it up to one inch. So we need it at one inch. We're gonna bring our cutting blade in and we're gonna cut it from five to 11. So I'm bringing my cutter, whoops. Yep, that's five, down to five and I'm cutting down to 11, okay? Now, you could flip this over and cut it this way and do the same thing from five to 11. Sometimes it depends on how sharp your blades are, whether that looks good or not. But if it doesn't, we cut our first slit here. You can turn it around, and in that case, you would cut from um, one down to seven. Does that make sense? But anyways, you're gonna cut from five to 11 here, Turn it over, cut from five to 11 here. So there's a one inch margin on each side. Now we need to score in here and we already have one score line. Hang on, I gotta turn my fan on. I know that makes a little bit more noise, but I'm having a hot flash. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now we're gonna put this back in here and we are gonna score it at five inches, but only from the slit to the slit, okay? I hope I didn't lose anybody. This is super, super easy. It's not hard. You can do this. I have faith. 
<laughs> five inches, six and a half inches, same thing, just inside the slits. You're gonna stop when you meet that cut line. Nine and a half. You're gonna be able to dazzle your friends with this card and they're gonna think that you are the bomb. And 11. Let me make sure I got that at 11. There we go. Same thing from this, from the one down to the five. That's where the cut lines are. And that's it. Okay? Super, super simple, right? Now, all that's left for this is to embellish and do whatever you would like with it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fold on this score line. And look at how I folded crooked. I'm just going to push that down and force it to be straight. There we go. And then this one, we are going to pull up that center, fold, fold the next one down, just like that. And this one also down, just like that. See what we got going on in there? This is gonna get pushed this way, this one, pushed this way, and once you make one of these, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. This one gets pushed down, and this one gets pushed down. You see that? There we go. Okay, all of this now, hang on, I put these in the wrong way. These have to come up. I'm like, why isn't it folding right? Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'll leave that there for a second. If you're watching this later, push pause. Keep it there until you get folded right. And now it all closes just like this. You have a little panel sticking out over here. You want to make sure you burnish all these edges good. And you can do this out of cardstock. I chose designer series paper because I thought it was going to be a really cool look. And it is, I might add. And yeah, Marlene, you can go back and watch from the beginning. Once I'm done here, I post this to my Facebook page so you can catch it from the beginning. This is what our card looks like. You guys saw how quick I did that, right? Super, super. Okay, I was just reading some messages. My um, screen isn't scrolling again, of course. Okay, now we need to decorate. And I have a whole bunch of layers here. So this layer, let me turn over my cheat sheet. This layer is three and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then we have this whisper white layer that's five and a half, no, three and a half by five and a half. This is gonna go right on here. But before we do that, we're gonna do a little bit of stamping. And here comes the stamp set. Um, like I said, I just started working with this yesterday, and can I just say, it's a blast. Like, I really enjoyed it. Did anybody see where my piercing mat went? I thought I had one out here. Maybe not. I'm going to bring the piercing mat in here. I just cover it with some typing weight paper, printer paper. And I am going to stamp my flowers. Now, this is a three-step stamping process. And I am using Seaside Spray, which is one of the colors in my designer series paper. And I'm just going to stamp the first flower right here. Now, I have to tell you, oh, I don't know if I did this right. I didn't, so I completely screwed that up. Um, okay, so I put a little piece of post-it note. This is the sticky part of a post-it note. I stuck it right on here. Now, I'm gonna, I did that on all three of my stamps after I looked at them so they would all line up. So, this was to my left. I'm gonna stamp this one with this one to my left. It's just a way to make it a little easier to line these up. And then I'm going to stamp this over it. And even though it's the same color of ink, you get a different pattern. Then we're gonna come in with basic black. And I'm looking for my little post-it note dot. And I'm going to stand up to do this because I don't want to screw this up. So 
that look right? Yeah, I think it does. Doesn't usually take me this long. Oh, that's pretty darn good. Okay, and then we've got this big word that says blessed, and I'm going to stamp that right up here at the top in the seaside spray. Isn't that pretty? It's just pretty. Okay, glue this to your colored cardstock. So right now, all we're gonna do is embellish this. I'm calling it a jumbo panel card. That's what I'm calling it. And we're just embellishing it now. So we did this, that was easy, right? The first one is always the toughest one. What I recommend is to take some old designer series paper, do everything that I say to do, and then write all over it so that I just looked at this and went bam, 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 easy peasy. You wanna score this line first, your eight inch line second, and then third, fourth, and then do all your scoring. Super easy. Well, not super easy. Super easy would just be put a layer on the front of the card and call it a day, right? But we love to do more than that. Ooh, look at those colors together. This is pretty. I've got another card to show you using this layout that's just different. Okay. I am going to show you, oh, my screen isn't scrolling again. There it comes. The different dies that are in here, this one is one we're going to use, but I wanted to show you this one right away too. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. I just throw anything extra that I don't use when I um, have a die set out. I just throw anything extra into the envelope so that I might use it a different time, right? So I've got this, and from that, I'm going to use that for my sentiment layer on the front. And this is just the, this is just a different piece. One side looks like this, the other side looks like that. I thought this would be a great layer to stamp on. So I've already die cut that. And we're going to use the black ink. And I love the same too. Let me stand up so I can make sure I get it straight. True friendship is one of God's greatest gifts. And isn't that the truth? Okay, we're gonna pop that up on some dimensionals. Make sure you're not throwing these away. I know I sound like a broken record. I've said this a gazillion times, but you can always use all these edges too. So don't be throwing them away. They are good. Okay, here we go. Now, you guys saw me, where'd my card go? Oh, right here. You guys saw me stamp this, right? So I did that a couple more times. I've got all of my little bits and pieces here. So you didn't have to wait for me to stamp and do all the things. I am going to use a die cut, two of these. There's, there's a die cut to cut out this flower. And I am going to use two of these on the front of my card. Make sure I got this right. Yep, I do. Okay. So I'm going to put one right here. So weird that I closed my glue. I can leave it sit on my desk and walk away from it and not close it. But I'm working with it here and I closed it. Huh. Losing my mind, people. And then I'm going to put one right down here. Here comes that sentiment. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty, isn't it? Okay, we have just a little bit more to do on the inside. Let me dazzle you. Oh, one more thing to stamp here. I wanted to stamp. Now this says, um, to be your friend. And of course we have blessed, right? We've got blessed right here. To be your friend. Well, I just want to put your friend. So what color? Oh, ooh, I just hit my light. I'm going to use terracotta tile which is a coordinating color in here, and I'm just inking up the your friend part. Let's see if I can get this on here straight and centered. Yay, 
I did. Okay, <laughs> it's those little victories, right? This is the number eight, the smallest one over here of the stitched nested labels. So that's where that's coming from. I already die cut it. I'm going to take that and that's going to go on the inside. So we've got all these little panels here. You need four pieces of coordinating cardstock. These are all one and three eighths by three and seven eighths. And then you need four pieces of coordinating designer series paper that are one and a quarter by three and three quarters. And of course, you don't have to get this elaborate if you don't want to, but it's kind of my job. <laughs> kind of my job to try and dazzle you as much as possible here with such a fancy fold card. So that's what I'm doing. This looks a little bit... Okay. Look at this and make sure this is going to fit because this looks like it's pretty big. Oh, that's right. Okay, so you're going to just put your designer series paper... I guess I could have done this ahead of time so you don't have to sit and wait for me to do it, but among friends, right? Designer series paper on here. Yeah, this one looks goofy. It looks like it's a little bigger than the others. Make sure you do your cutting better than I did. <laughs> Sheesh, right? Pretty color coordination. Ah, Andy says, yes, that is pretty. Thank you so much, Andy. I had fun making this card because it was like, oh, what else can I do to it? What else can I do to it? Okay, now we're going to bring this in here. And we're just going to oops, take all of these and put them on the panels that we have scored on the inside here. And you can, like, fold it up, make sure you're getting it centered nicely. You don't want it to be crooked, right? So just give it, you know, pinch it a little bit to make sure that it's, because it's kind of hard to see. This designer series paper is kind of, makes your eyes do goofy things, if you know what I mean. It'll be totally worth it. Here comes another one. And again, this card looks like it's so hard, but it's really just layering of different colors and patterns that makes it look like Holy cow, right? There we go. Okay, so here we go. Look at that. Now we have some other things to do. I also die cut and stamp some more flowers. And I don't know exactly what I'm going to use here, but whatever I don't use, I'll stick in my folder and keep to use on another card. Oops, hang on, I just dropped my die. Where did it go? Oh. oh. Sorry guys. I dropped my die. I hit my crown on the table. It almost fell off. <laughs> oh, it's a fun, it's another fun night with Kelly. Okay. I think what I'm going to do here is I am going to, I'm going to put a flower right here. So let's just add a little bit of glue right down here. I'm going to do this. Now the only thing you want to do is make sure that your glue doesn't interfere with any of your score lines in your folds, right? I'm going to take another one and put it right up here. Okay. And then I've got all these little things. So here's some more dies that are in that framelit or die set. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on this side of that flower. And then I'm going to tuck this right in here. And this is, um, what color is that? Sahara sand? Yep, Sahara sand. Got some Sahara sand leaves and I'm just going to take that and tuck it right up there. Fingers stuck to it. There we go. And then how about 
Here's another one of the little elements in the die set. And I think I'm just gonna take this and add a little bit of glue to it. Oh, that might be too much glue. Add that right here. Yep, that looks good. A little bit of glue on this side. And I'm gonna put that right here. I'll show this all to you in just a second. Give me a minute. What else? I've got another one of these flowers. So I sat down with all these dyes and decided what colors I wanted to use. And then that is how I decided on cutting out all these dyes ahead of time. So I could just sit down and play with placement of them. And my glue doesn't want to come out. There it comes. Oh, I bent that one. I don't know if I just put that right in there too. Oh goodness. There we go. Okay, hang on. Let me wipe my hands off. Are you guys ready to see the finished product? Now I've got one more left here. Oh, actually I've got two left here. I'm just going to take those and tuck them right in here. I'll use them on something else. I've also got a stamped and die cut flower that I'm just going to add. Oh look, I've got some more in here. I'm just going to add that in here. I might use it for something else. Here is, hang on just a second, let me fold this. There we go. Here's our card. And then when you open it up, you have all of this. Is that not really cool? Now, it looks like, oh my lord, I could never make anything like that. You guys saw how easy this was, right? Because all you start with is a piece of 6 by 12 either cardstock or designer series paper, and you do just exactly what I said. Boom. So, I have to, of course, thank Deborah for getting me the link to this first of all because I couldn't understand the German lady at all because I don't speak German obviously but isn't that incredibly beautiful all right so this was the this is the second one I made with this color of designer series paper this was the first one that I made and the paper is this color on one side and then it looks like this on the other side and I did the same, pretty much the exact same layout. I just used different colors. Different designer series paper, I should say. So, yay! All right, I thought that was going to take me a lot longer than it did. Hang on, I gotta close that up. All right. Oh, Andy says this card is way past the wow factor. It really is, isn't it? But you saw how easy it was, right? It's just so simple. So, Woven Threads Designer Series Paper to a Wild Rose Bundle. This is a fantastic bundle. And you guys, um, check out my blog tomorrow. I have the Color Fusers Blog Hop and a Color Challenge that will be posted using the same bundle. Okay, make sure you check that out. Now I'm going to grab, what time is it? 7.55, I think we're doing good. I'm going to grab, I don't know how I got all these in here. Grab my other project here. I've got another fun fold that somebody requested. And we're using some more designer series paper. So we're going to be using this designer series paper. This is the Follow Your Art designer series paper. Let me move these over here out of our way and get my cheat sheet put away. I don't want to lose that. Okay, here comes a new one. All right, so last week, Steve got this Get Well card from Gail Coyle. Coyle. Coyle? Cole. I'm not sure how to say her last name, but Gail sent this card and she made this adorable card. Let me get it back together here. Okay. 
isn't this just the cutest thing ever? And somebody said, somebody sent me a message and said, wow, Kelly, I'd really like to know how to make that. And I looked at this and I'm like, oh, Lord, that is going to be very complicated. Well, guess what? It is not complicated. And you can make one, too, and I'm going to show you how. All right. We are going to be using Follow Your Art Designer Series Paper and the Nine Lives Stamp Set. This is a cute cat set. And, of course, we have a matching cat punch, which is also great for Halloween. Yeah. And I thought, I can send this to anybody. Like, I have some people in my life that are cat fanatics. But I also have people in my life that aren't cat fanatics that would simply love this card just as much. So I am going to be making a few of these. Got my stamps out here. And then I use the largest stitched shape square. This is from the stitched shapes dies. And then the layering square dies. I used the scallop that matches it. I'm going to just bring in my cardstock here. And I have some ribbon. Oops. And backup cardstock just in case. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hang on, I'm scrolling. If I missed a question that you've asked and nobody's answered you yet, please re-ask it because I'm kind of looking at it again. It's hard to stamp and do all the things and look at all the comments. I do go back and read all of them, so just know that. But if you would like an answer right now, ask again. Okay, so we have two pieces of Thick Whisper White cardstock. And you guys, if you haven't ordered our Thick Whisper White for your card bases, I highly recommend it. It is just so nice and it's really, really sturdy. Both of these pieces are four inches wide by 10 and an eighth long. We're gonna score them at four and three quarters. So I got one and one. Both of them at four and three quarters. Okay. Now, the two ends that are four and three quarters, the rest of this is five and a half. So you've got four and three quarters, score line, and then five and a half. You want to do the four and three quarter ends. We're going to take a pencil, and where'd my pencil go? Here it is, and my ruler. And we are going to measure up four inches. So we're going to go four inches here. Now this one does require a little measuring, but it's not bad. So I don't, I don't want anybody freaking out. <laughs> there will be no freaking out. And then this one, let me think about this for a second. Okay, so this piece is laying the same way. We've got four and three quarters and then five and a half. You're going to take this and turn it around and you're going to measure four inches from that end. So when you go back to watch this video, again, I recommend that you make up a template out of some crummy cardstock before you use your good cardstock. That's what I do. Okay, now you're going to bring in your paper cutter, and we are going to score from that very tip right there down to our pencil line. Let me get this in here. Very tip to our pencil line. Just like that. So we've got a diagonal score line there. That's one piece. And then this piece right here is going to have a score line right here. So from our pencil mark down to the tip of that corner. Okay. It's about as hard as it gets. Now, Make sure you have yourself a nice eraser that doesn't leave black marks all over because some of mine have been doing that. I don't know why they do that, but it's not cool. So I made sure this one was nice and clean. And then I'm going to tell you about a couple layers of cardstock. So I'm using this designer series paper. Again, it's the Follow Your Art. It is part of the Buy Three Get One Free promotion that starts Wednesday. So this piece is 
three and a half by three and a half, and then I've got matching coastal cabana that is three and three quarters by three and three quarters. And we need to cut these on a diagonal. So from tip to tip, and my trimmer didn't want to get in there. We've got that. Kind of mangled my end there. And then we're gonna cut this design or this coastal cabana layer also. My blades must be getting dull, you guys. Yeah, and I can't get any more. Stampin' Up! is coming out with a new paper cutter. I can't hardly wait. There we go. Okay. Now, it's just a matter of stamping and putting this together. And I'm not kidding. That card looked highly complicated, but I'm telling you, it is not complicated. That's as complicated as it gets. If you can score... If you can measure to four and score on a diagonal, you can make this card. I know you can. All right, so we're just gonna glue that on there. And glue this on here. Now the other thing is you're gonna have to be careful if you use something that has like a definite pattern in it rather than just random like this. Oh, that's crooked. <laughs> That'll never work. <laughs> Hang on a second. What did I do? That's better. Okay. So we are going to fold on our score line. And you always want to burnish really good. And fold on our score line. Burnish really good. And then we are going to take this and fold it backwards. So now we've got this like that, okay? Then we're gonna take this one and fold this one backwards. So we've got one on the left, one panel on the right. And again, just burnish that edge really good. We're gonna glue these together. Super simple, right? Make sure you get your adhesive around that outside edge there. And what I like to do is I like to kind of take it and make sure that you're good in your fold lines. Like you've got it pushed all the way in to where it belongs. And here comes... Oh, I keep doing that. I must have a dried piece of glue on the end of my glue bottle that keeps jerking it out of my hand. So this layer is five and a quarter by three and seven eighths. Hang on, my crown is slipping. <laughs> I'm not lying, it really is. It was falling off my head. Okay, so we got that done. This piece is gonna go right here and it's gonna fit in there perfectly. And I thought that's where it was gonna be kind of tricky, but nope. It was super easy. And here comes the other one that we're gonna put right down here. You see how easy that is? I love making things easy. Okay, here comes the inside. And I'm going to take my Coastal Cabana and I'm gonna stamp the sentiment that comes with this card and it says a friend like you comes around once in nine lives isn't that sweet and then there's the yarn balls you've got a two-step stamping here so we're going to do one in coastal cabana and then i'm going to bring in basic gray and we're going to stamp right over it now i gotta stand up and look at this again and hopefully i can get it i recommend doing the solid one first because i did have better luck with that Yay, not too bad. This one is gonna go on the inside of our card, just like this. Okay, we've got a scrap of um, smoky slate, yes, smoky slate. So I'm going to stamp this image of the cat 
and I'm going to bring in the striped image and put that in the same ink and then I'm going to try to get this all lined up. So I like to look at the eyeballs and the face of this cat. That's what I kind of look at when I am <gasps> yay, doing it, when I'm doing the two-step stamping. I'm a little off on his tail, but I think we'll be okay. And then this punches right out. Here we go. We've got that square that I talked about on Whisper White. And I'm going to bring in the Your the Cat's Meow. And I'm going to put my cat in here. And then I'm going to figure out where I need to place this so it will fit. And it needs to go about, gosh, if I can stop moving it. There we go. Just like that. Put some dimensionals on the back of my cat. Here we go. Oh, Joanne said she forgot about me tonight. Well, that's not okay. <laughs> it's okay, Joanne. It was a holiday weekend. Who was to know that I'd be working? <laughs> I was telling everybody earlier that I am going to be gone for the next, I don't know how many weekends in a row, and so I figured I needed to stick around and do my job this weekend, right? <laughs> okay, now, you need two designer series papers. These are just some really cute little layers, and this is half inch, mm -mm. hang on, this is, yeah, this is, this is half inch by three and seven eighths. And these are three eighths, which is just one eighth less than a half by three and three quarters. And you're just gonna glue these onto the Coastal Cabana layers. And I'm gonna throw this bottle of glue in the garbage because I think it's just so empty that nothing, every time I wanna use it, I have to really shake it. It's time to get out a virgin bottle of glue. Alright, and then we're going to do this one. Those are so tiny. They were just cute, right? Okay. Now, when you fold your card up, it goes just like this. These little pieces decorate the outside here. And I thought, what a genius to um, add these right here because otherwise it's pretty kind of weird looking, right? And this just like really finishes the card. And I love it when people take that extra step to make things really, really nice. So, way to go. All right, now this one Okay, so here's the deal. When your card is open, it looks like this. This needs to go on here like this, okay? But when you close your card, it's gonna go like that. And I just want you to know, yep, that's the way that it goes. We're gonna take 24 inches of ribbon here, and we are going to center that. So we're gonna just take it and put it on the card like this. Okay, so I want this centered on here and these ends to be even. And I've got our polka dotted tool. I'm gonna take a piece of tape and tape that down good. Where did my cat go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> what happened to my cat? And then your cat's gonna go right on here and I make sure one end is in the, in the crack. <laughs> crack kills, no, I'm just kidding. One end is in the crack and the other end is in the crack. And then we're gonna put glue on this back side. You could also use tear and tape if you wanted to, just something, a nice strong adhesive. And if you put both corners in the crack, you know that your layer is gonna be straight too. You guys, what do you think? Isn't this the coolest? So here's our, whoops, here's our turtle card again. This is the one that Gail made that is so stinking adorable, right? See her little panels down here at the ends? They're on this side right here. Yeah, 
so stinking adorable. And then here's our cat. And we're gonna just close this up and you would simply take it and tie it in a bow here. And I like, oh, look at my, I've got my um, teeth is sticking out here, you guys. Hang on, I gotta fix that. That is not gonna be okay. Make sure you get your tape sticking out on your card, because that's not all right. Oh, that could, I'll do that later. But anyways, you just tie this in a bow right here, and then here's your totally fancy folding card. I don't know what this is called. If Gail's watching, you could let us know. It's amazing! I have another one, too. Hang on. So I usually almost always make up a sample. Sometimes I try to... Um, save on time and not do that. So like I'll just come up with an idea in my head and then I'll make it on on, on here live and oftentimes that doesn't go well for me. <laughs> like I make a complete mess out of it. I forget to do stuff, blah, blah, blah. So I did make complete cards, completed cards for all the ones that I made tonight. But look at this one. Yeah, this is just a different pattern in this follow your art. It is this one right here with Calypso Coral. And it's the same card, the same everything else. I just changed the designer series paper and the color of that cardstock behind the designer series paper. So you guys, pretty cool, right? Yeah, that was a lot. Of really fancy stuff tonight so um, next week I'll see what I come up with but maybe I'll try to be a little easier on you guys now I want to see what you guys make with this if you are making these I want to see them you need to send me a picture if you make one of these I want to I want to know what did you use what stamp set what designer series paper what did you make now of course to post it on to this bit this is my business page to post it on here, I prefer that you use Stampin' Up! stamps, okay? It can be current or retired. But, um, and just so you know, I have my Facebook page set to, I have to approve anything that's being posted on it. So when you go to post something, oh no, that's not how this one works. Oh, that's a different page, never mind. But um, keep it Stampin' Up! retired or current, doesn't matter. I want to see what you guys make with this. I want to see what stamp sets you use. I want to see your amazing ideas because each and every one of you is amazing, right? P paper? Paper crafters, we're amazing people. Yes, we are. I'm going with that. Where'd my other card go? Oh, here it is. Gosh, I almost left that one out. That one's gorgeous, too. Oh, all right. You guys ready to see the cards that we got? Oh, I hit my light again. Sorry. See the cards that I got this week in the mail? Hang on, my ribbon got all messed up here and I don't want it to get all wrinkly. Okay, if I missed any questions. Oh, Renee says your cards tonight are absolutely awesome. Love them and can't wait to try them. Excellent. Um, Karen says, can I purchase a sheet like you are showing with the sample of DSP and ink colors? Nope, you can't. Um, but if you go back and watch the part that you missed, I talked all about that sheet and I tell you how you can make your own. I don't sell those, I, I make cards. <laughs> That's what I do. Okay, but I do talk about it and tell you exactly what to do. Okay, and thanks for asking, Karen, because it's a pretty cool sheet, right? All right, I'm gonna move these over to the side so I can show you the beautiful things that came in the mail this week. So I, I'm gonna start with this one. So glad. It says, glad we're friends. And isn't that the cutest little squirrel? And this is from Trudy. And um, she says, I keep hearing you say squirrel. So I made you a shirt to go with the saying. And she gave me an extra large for shrinkage purposes. And <laughs> this shirt is too cute, you guys. Ready? This is going to be my new pajama shirt. I love it. I love the color. It's like it matches what I did tonight, right? <laughs> and sometimes I get distracted. Squirrel! Yeah. How sweet is she? Thank you so much, Trudy. This is going to be my new pajama shirt, and I love it. And look at that squirrel. This is really neat. She made this shirt. That's what it said. So, very cool. I have to make sure I take that upstairs. 
And next we have this card. And this is coming to us from Kathy Sheldon. Kathy has been a longtime customer and friend of mine. And she just wanted to show me that she has been using, yep, that's, she wanted to show me she's been using her stuff. So, excellent. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, and I like the way she did six little different squares with embossing folders down here. I hope you guys can see that. It's really cool. Then I got this beauty from Rhonda Rohurst. And she, ooh, look at that. She used the sprinkle pigments and she sprayed it with um, gold uh, shimmer paint mixed in alcohol. Can you see that? I can see the shimmer here. So she said this was her first attempt with pigment sprinkles and she spritzed it with gold. Love, love, love them. I love what you did here, Rhonda. Way to go. Then we got this cutie patootie. And this is from Kathy. Steve opened these, so I don't have all the things. Um, this was a get well card for Steve. I love the use of that rectangle stitched die on the side there. This little guy is cute too. Oh, and this is one of my favorites, this dog. This is a get well card, and this is from my one of my team members and longtime friend Cheryl Ulrich. And isn't that just, love it. And this was a get well card for Steve. And this is so pretty, right? And this is from Claudia P Pidone. I hope I said that right. This is a get well card for Steve. I love this. I love this panel, the three different panels. And look at this cutie patootie. Some more turtles. Better days are coming. Kimberly sent this and it says um, better days are coming. This is a get well card to Steve. And then she wrote him a really nice note on the back. And this was Kimberly McCollum. Thank you so much. I love these little panel cards. They are so fun. This beautiful one was dropped off yesterday. Nope. Yeah, yesterday. I hosted a swap if you guys saw my picture. Debbie Peters. Um, it's a sympathy card for Steve for the loss of his father. So thank you, Debbie. This is really pretty. And then Steve got this one with the four-wheeler on it. We love four-wheelers. This comes from Doris Diggs. And um, she said, soon you'll be out playing again. So this is a get well card for Steve. Thank you so much, Doris. And then we have a thinking of you card. This is from Kim Siriana. And this was a sympathy card. Thank you so much, Kim. Isn't that just gorgeous? Love the ribbon and the layers of daisies. Then we have this beautiful card, Sending Heartfelt Thoughts. This is a big card, and this is from Anne D. Acquisto. I hope I said that right, and it was for both of us. So she says she's hoping times get better soon, and happy memories of your father soothe your heartache. And that is so sweet, Anne. You're just the nicest person. Then we got this one, and this is from my good friend and team member, Sarah Simon. And isn't that gorgeous? I love this. One of our bundles. And again, this is a sympathy card. Love what she did with that. And we have more. Look at this beauty. This uses the um, faux silk technique with the beautiful friendship stamp set mm. and a brand new embossing folder coming out in the holiday mini pile. And don't forget to look for those embossing folders, you guys, because they're kind of hidden. You really have to look for them. There are, I think, two new ones in this catalog. And this is for Don, from Donna Dress. So thank you so much. It was a sympathy card for, obviously, for Steve's dad. And then this is from Dee Blythe. She's one of my favorite new people. She's going to be joining my team very soon. And just a note, and it says, Dear Steve, wishing you a fast recovery. Just so you know, you can drop in anytime during Kelly's show and say hi. <laughs> and he did. Nice job, Dee. And then we got this. This was a paper pumpkin kit, and I love this. And this was from Kathy Beck. And super, super nice. She was saying thanks for the pool pizza party. It was a lot of fun and hope Steve gets better. Yay. Thank you, Kathy. That was really sweet. And um, paper pumpkin. Yeah, we had really pretty envelopes. 
And then we got this one, which I thought was really neat. This is part of a set of cards and matching envelopes. And isn't that just pretty? This is from Jody Peterson. I hosted a swap that came due this past weekend. And she sent me this card saying thanks for hosting the swap. And she's always so thoughtful. I just, I love her. She is also part of my team. So, I, oh, nope, not, that's not it. We have another one. Isn't that gorgeous? And, oh, I think this came from Sharon Jones, I believe. I took the note out of it. Is it from Sharon Jones? Sharon, you're on here. Is this from you? I think it was. And then we got this. <laughs> Isn't this funny? This is from my good friend Sue Molden. She has been a customer and friend of mine for 15 years. It says, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love the latest design challenge. I know I'll use the design before we finish up our card ministry year at church. You're terrific. She's down in Fort Myers, Florida right now with her parents. As she puts it, sweating to the oldies. <laughs> I think both of her parents are in their 90s, and she goes down quite frequently to um, visit them, and they're still living on their own. Isn't that amazing? All right, was there anything? Oh, I know. I was going to show you guys some swap cards, wasn't I? Don't let me lie to you. What time is it? 8.22. I'm going to go through these quickly. This uses that new, I can't remember what that paper is called. You guys probably will be able to tell me, but it is... Um, insanely gorgeous. It's in the holiday mini catalog with the monster bash. Is that this is one of the new embossing folders? Is everybody drinking tonight? I'm thirsty. Hang on. This is actually the swap. I'm drinking my strawberry lemonade. Yes, Sharon. I knew you had a note in this card. Thank you for telling me. I, I was sure this was yours. Here is another swap card using that nature's beauty stamp set. Isn't that pretty? Um, Carla Beausoleil. Who made this one? Cindy Benward. Cindy, I think Cindy might be on tonight. And then here's another one. Gorgeous new Christmas tree punch. This is from Ruth Bingle. She's my friend from California. Here's another one using the Gather Together. This is the same bundle of products. Yeah, very pretty. This is from Katherine Anderson. And we have this gorgeous one from Christine Bertram. Yeah, there's that paper again. I can't remember what it's called. Um, look at this. Isn't that something? Beautiful cardinal. This is by Jay Shante. She's part of my team, as is Christine. Then we have Teppi Schwartzel from Arizona, also part of my team. Beautiful. I love Halloween. Um, Jody Peterson, she's watching tonight. I know that. Woohoo! Oh, lots of you are drinking water or wine. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Look at this one. I love this one. This was a brand new swapper with me. Her name is Brett Lettuce. Lettuce do. Lettuce do. Gorgeous, gorgeous job. Love that. Here's another one. Loving the Halloween. I uh, don't know who this is from. Then we've got Susie Wood, one of my friends from Iowa. Love the little snowman. Here is the moose. Yeah, love this. This looks like a panel card in the front, too. This is from Candy Michael, my friend from Ohio. Here's another fall card. Love this. This is from Barbara Rathmel. I just ordered this whole star bundle, you guys. And this is the other new embossing folder. So there's three that I know of in the mini catalog. I mean, that I know of. I should know, right? But you guys remember I don't have a good memory, right? <laughs> I just ordered the star bundle. Love it. Beautiful paper. This is from Wendy Sue Winter. She's also on my team. Here's the moose again. And this stamp set in the background. Um, can't remember what it's called. Mm, something front waterfront waterfront I think there's there's another one now in the mini catalog like this too and this is from Carolyn Susie here's that gather together again uh, this is by Sarah Simon she's a 
one of my friends and team members also. Everybody on my team is my friend. I just want you guys to know that, just in case I'm not saying it. I don't want anybody to get their feelings hurt. I know you guys aren't like that, but I just want you to know, everybody that joins my team, my friend. You guys are my friends, too. Okay, this is a pocket card. This is from Kathy Miller. I love this one. I love this die, right? And there's that embossing folder. Some fun new designer paper. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've got kind of a frog in my throat. Here is the Cardinal again. This is called Toll Tidings. And this is from Kathy Beck. She's also on my team. Then we have Carolee Crabb who made this one. And this is like an easel card with a bell hanging in it. Yep. And look at this beauty. Yeah, this is Debbie Peters. Love, love. This is a wooden element. That's also in the mini catalog, and this is the same bundle of product, you guys. Yeah, you have to get this. <laughs> All right, I have somebody coming over to take a look at my donut wall that I made for Haley's wedding. So hopefully they're going to buy it and get it off my front porch. Um, let's bring you guys back around here. Yep, there we go. See, I told you, I still have my crown on. <laughs> my hair is kind of a mess. Um, whew, what a night, right? Yes. Oh, yes. Karen says prayers in, to all in the path of this horrible hurricane. Oh, my gosh. My husband told me there was a highway shooting. Prayers to all of those people. The hurricane. Oh, my gosh. I hope that the damage is minimal and they're all wrong about it. And Kevin Hart, one of my favorite comedians, was in a very, very bad accident today. So, Prayers going out to everybody that needs them. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this holiday weekend. I hope you enjoy your Labor Day tomorrow. And I wish you good weather, good health, good family. Thank you so much. Thanks, Cindy. Thank you. Um, please make sure you share this video if you haven't already. I really do appreciate it, whether you're watching now or later on YouTube. I will be uploading this to YouTube and hopefully posting it tonight or tomorrow evening. Um, I'll try to get it done tonight. Have yourselves a great week. I will be back next week on September 8th. Yay! Have a good week, you guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.